at Glenavere Golf Course here in Portland, Oregon for the 2019 Nike Cross Nationals. Here with Walt Ling, one of the rookie coaches in California. <laughs> oh, yeah. Year number 50, correct? It's 50th year at Jesuit, yeah. 50 years all at Jesuit. Incredible. No, not all at Jesuit. Oh, really? St. Bernard High School, Playa del Rey. So... Um, in that span of 50? Within no, that span of 50? Okay. This is like 54, actually. So. Excellent. But was the first four at the... Uh... Yeah. Same? Okay. Excellent. Interesting. Okay, so Nike Cross Nationals. Your team came in 2006 on a different course, Portland Meadows. Yes. Plays fourth there. Great performance, fourth there, correct? Yes. And then yeah, now you guys met Matt Strangio, third time here, last year eighth at Nationals as an individual. He's back this year for a third time, going for a third All-American, hopefully uh, higher up on the spot, maybe the yes. top spot. It's a great field. First off, last weekend at the California State meet, 33rd annual meet, Jesuit goes so well, ends up placing in second, over, second overall in Division One, beats out Bellerman by a single point. Bit of a note, side note there, Bellerman, third place, coached by, coached by Patrick McChrystal, a former runner of Walt, of Walt Lang at Jesuit. So, and he coached there. at Jesuit too. He was an assistant coach there. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, first off, second place, Division One California State meet. Uh, what'd you think? Were you a bit surprised? Sounds like you kind of thought it was possible. What's your overview of that? We believed it was possible that uh, they had such a great race at the uh, section meet that all they had to do was kind of uh, duplicate that performance and they would be uh, competitive with teams other than Great Oak. Um, and that's the way it played out. Yeah, the, the six of the seven guys ran really well and one had a little bit of a disappointing race. But, but our seventh guy beat um, Bellarmine's uh, fourth and fifth guys. This was a guy that uh, hadn't run in three years. He was a cross-country guy as a freshman, and then he focused on baseball for three years and came out and, uh, this past summer and did very well at the state meet again. So he had been number six state uh, at the state meet as a freshman, number six freshman. Uh, so anyway, so Nick Salonidas was his name. We're going to take this interview a couple of ways here. Next up, uh, Walt is, I mean, he's, he's very humble, but he's definitely the legend when it comes to cross-country coaching in California. Is it eight state titles as a team? Is that nine. correct? Nine. And nine as a team uh, in the upper divisions. Also, on the track, is it now five guys sub 406? I'm losing track. There are so many. We have four guys at 404. And that, and that is, I mean, four at 404 for 1,600 meters. I think Matt really intends to do something about that. So. Outstanding. Yeah. I mean, so on the track, uh, in cross country, individually and team wise, there's been no one better over the years than Walt Lang right here. So we're kind of picking his brain on a few things here. Uh, you mentioned in a sense about uh, the fact that you told one of your kids, you know, you do is just repeat what you did at the section meet, I'm mean, sorry, at, at Clovis on the World War Park course. Yeah, yeah. So we saw this year at the Clovis Invitational, Newberry Park was flying in at the mile, had a big lead. Yeah. Great Oak was, was doing their thing and moved up really, really well. You've got your theory on how the course should be run, if you can just share that from your experience, what you think the keys are at Woodward? Well, uh, uh, the race doesn't, uh, they don't hand out medals at the uh, mile mark. Right. Uh, that's the, the 5K mark where that is determined. So uh, you've got a lot of time and I, I think uh, Great Oak demonstrated that uh, in that race at the Clovis Invite. Uh, uh, by coming back from so far behind and, and winning. Uh, and our guys were very aware of that happening. We had uh, guys actually at Clovis who uh, closed nicely in the last mile, and uh, they repeated that at the statement. So uh, I'm not sure that that's unique to Clovis. Uh, it might be a, it's not like track where you get splits every 400 and you know what places everybody in. You, you get, two splits there and, and so it may be a feature of cross country in general that uh, uh, people go out who are, are maybe 16 minute people and go out like they're going to run 15 and it isn't going to happen and and so uh, you get you can get dramatic changes in that last mile which is what we we got yeah. and in track obviously it's 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 flat so those splits really help out they're, when yeah they're getting, the terrain, they're getting plays exactly a role. and you know what i i've thought this is what i'd like to see technology wise is a a, a running score a continuous score continuous like right. they do in cycling right 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 that would be very interesting mm -hmm. and have the uh, score being announced continuously or even displayed continuously.
work on that, Rick. Well, Walt gave us an idea, so we're going to have Nike embed chips in every kid's forehead by tomorrow for this race. <laughs> I look forward to that. The, yeah, yeah, Nike can do that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so tomorrow, the 16th annual Nike Cross Nationals are sixth year here at Glendivere, your first time here. Uh, so, Matt, what makes him so good? Obviously, there's, there's ability, but what else? makes him such well, a you, runner. Like every runner, it's a combination of physical and mental, and mm -hmm. uh, he's got both. He's a very confident runner. I really like that. We've had some uh, runners in the past that have that same kind of, uh, I call it a bring it on attitude. They're at the starting line, bring it on. and uh, Don't have to worry about uh, you know, problems up here at all. Right. Some people would say, well, maybe a little too much confidence. Well, I'd rather go that direction than the other way. So, uh, yeah, and he's a has been a, a, a team leader. He's big time in that direction, and yeah. I remember the very first time speaking with you about him was his freshman year. I gave you a call and wanted to find out your take. And, uh, I mean, you, you glowingly said, hey, this is something special. He's, he's really going to be a great one. Um, has he surprised you in any way with what he's done so far? Have you learned, what have you learned more about him over the years? Well, just what I just said, I, mm -hmm. uh, he, uh, I liken him to, uh, we had a guy at our school who wound up going to De La Salle High School. He transferred out of Jesuit. His name was Rich Kimball. <laughs> most people, well, most people have, have, you know, it's so long ago. Right. And Rich was the same kind of guy. Bring it on. He was very confident. Uh, and so his senior year of high school, he was something else. Uh, yes. He placed at the World Junior Cross Country. He won it. Not placed. He won it. Doubled at the state meet. And in those days, I, in track, those days, I believe the rest period was about one hour. An hour. Right, yeah. right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. And he ran 846, 406, won them both. Was first guy to do that. Yep. And his attitude was, as I said, that, that bring it on. I love being here. Let's do this. So I think that's a, an advantage for any runner that uh, possesses that kind of confidence. And I think a lot of the guys on the starting line tomorrow are going to have that. <laughs> yeah. Yep, 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 definitely. So right now, it looks like the top eight individuals nationally are here. With the exception of Leo Dashbaugh, he's injured, so he's done for the year. Yeah, I saw that. Um, so this is a great field. Have you sensed from that any sort of extra excitement? Or nervousness going against you like this? Yeah, his uh, he's got in common with all these other guys, uh, whatever it is, eight, ten guys. Really doesn't get a race that often. Mm -hmm. um, he has uh, at our awards banquet. I, I counted it up, but I think he has won in cross country since uh, his sophomore beginning of his sophomore year. I think he's won 25 of 29 races. So what that means is, in four races, he had company. Uh, actually, a couple others, uh, but for the most part, he's running uh, uh, races alone. So this is uh, it's an opportunity for him and for everyone else that have been kind of in that boat. Uh, and you know who they are, the guys mm -hmm. are, that, yeah. uh, they're going to have companies, companies so uh, big things can happen in, in a situation like that. Yeah. yeah. Looking forward to it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So once again, we learned a lot there. This was uh, after 54 years. So Walt has already agreed to, in what, 2073, give us another 54-year update on what's been going on. I look forward to that. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Walt, we'll get a little ice school here at the 2019 Nike Cross Nationals.